Okay, got to start on it. Got to start on the motor. Um, this is the base. All counterboard, holes drilled. Um, not sure which part I'm going to work on next. This. Oh, let's see. Let's see what they, what they're working on next. They're working on next on that, and I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do too. Is uh, work on the. Um, journal for the rod, the, the rod care or the crank carrying journal. So that would be I, I label them piece number three. Should be four of them. Yep, right here. They got them squared up and fill that whole pattern in, and then mill that angle on there. That goes right there. Goes right there. Does that overhang like that? Hmm. Because these are 407 wide. And the top of that is 287. So yeah, that's going to hang over. Hmm. Hmm. I think if I would have spotted that right away, I may have... Oh, wait a minute. That is the overall... It gets cut down. Okay. That makes more sense. It makes more sense now. Um, hmm. How am I going to make that? How am I going to turn that? I'll have to think about that. I didn't, I didn't want to go use NC. So, how am I going to do that manually? Reverse bore it? I could do that. I could reverse bore it. I guess. Yeah, basically, you run your boring head and turn your tool bit, your uh, boring bar facing inward, and then come in and basically it's called uh hollow mill hollow milling right yeah i think that's what it's called but because if i put these on because i was thinking maybe i could put these on and lock these on a on a well you know what i can put it in a four draw too and do that if and do that first And do that first before I cut this angle on. I might do that. I might put a reference hole in these. You know, drill this, drill this undersize like that. I can put it in a four jaw and dial that hole in, and then come in and and mill that or turn that and turn this. I think that is the plan. And then for this, for the cap, what I was going to do is just scribe it out, take a ball end mill and just work my way around it. You know, and then, and then hand blend it afterwards. But for this, I think that's, that's the best way of getting at it. I never read how read the notes or whatever. I like doing it my way. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out by now, um, I like doing it the way you know, thinking it through myself and figuring out how to do it. But yeah, if I take and lay a little hole in there, you know, an eighth inch hole. How far is that down? Yeah, it's a quarter inch down, so um, I could even go with a 5 16 hole through there and, and still be okay. And then go over to the four jaw, dial it in, turn that, loosen up two jaws, put the next one in, dial it in just to make sure, and then uh, do the next one. Or I could make a little holding fixture too. 
to put in the fore jaw that would butt up against that would butt up against a pin here, a pin here, and a pin there, and then it, and it have a plate, and then I could just have nope, 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 can't I don't can't do that because I really have no place of clamping it then. You know, I couldn't put a clamp there because I want to turn there. So, yeah, I think the best way is just to try to put it in a forward jaw, but boy, I ain't going to be hanging on to much. Be kind of spooky spinning that around. <laughs> well, I'm going to think about it, and uh, I'll decide what I'm going to do. And uh, I'll let you know. Okay, I'm going to uh, start work on the bearing on the uh, crank bearing carrier, or crank carrier pad. Uh, I don't know what you call them, pads. Uh, but they'll, they're the parts that will carry the crank. And uh, what I'm going to do is drill these two holes, drill and tap these two holes here and then flip it over and then I'm going to drill this hole here to a 5 16 diameter and the reason I'm going to drill that to a 5 16 I don't know what I was thinking the other day but uh, I will put that on the lathe and I will turn this. So I will get started in uh, drilling and tapping these holes. I'm still set up. I still have my zero set. So I should be able to just come in here and it should be right at the corner yet. Looks good to me. So we want to come in. Now I gotta remember too, I gotta do two of them one way and then two of them the other way so they'll be opposites. You know, so one's a mirror. So, um, right now I'll go in over on the Y axis 141. Oop, too far. 141. And my x-axis is three hundred and seventy-five. So I could to drill two of them there, two of these, and then the other two will be opposites. So. I don't know if that helps. It helps me. This works good for end mills and stuff, but not so much for. Uh, let's see if I can get over here to get the light shining away from the camera. Ah. Trying to get it so that the camera is not catching the glare of the light. focus on that or not but all right so we'll drill the first one and they're supposed to be drilled at 832 and uh, 300 deep 312 deep For an 832, <coughs> which is uh, number 29. So we want to go 300 deep. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is put this drill all the way bottom down into the drill chuck. 
so that I can reset it every time. I'm going to come down here and touch. And I'm going to crank my... And I need a what? A 5 16th? Did they say? 5 16th deep. So, 400 even would be fine. I do believe these blocks here are, these blocks are 400, so I'm going to use it to set my quill stop. So I've got it all the way down. I'll set my quill stop with this 400 block, so it's going to go down 400 thousandths again. Yeah, because 400 go in, it's, there's nothing that it's going to run into. There we go. chamfer tool. <clears throat> Put a little chamfer on there for a thread start. Oh, can't do it with that. I don't think I can get there. Nope. I don't want to mess up my setting now. So, go with a, a bigger chamfer tool so I can get down to it. Not oh, much, just enough for <coughs> that first thread. And then I need an 832 tap. <laughs> See if I could find a, a bottoming tap. Send them a plug. Well, this looks like a body, a plug that's been ground off to a bottoming tap. So I'll, I will use that. Get my little. gonna I'm just gonna hand start it with in the drill chuck just by turning it with my hand some Molly D put some Molly D on that anything in it there we go I'm just gonna get it started, maybe. <laughs> and then I'll hand tap it <coughs> afterwards. Oop. Gotta take it back out of there. I got a tap guide block anyway to, to hold it straight. So I need to do two of them at that position. So I won't be able to get there with this center drill. 
I need a long center drill now. <clears throat> this one's probably way too long. Yep. Not by much. But nevertheless, too long. Don't have very many uh, longer center drills. Well, looks like I am going to have to move my quill stop anyway, so I'll move it down and then reset it. No big deal. My center drill back in, my little one. Down, 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 down. There we go. <laughs> All right, put the drill back in. Down touch. Take a block. Set my quill stop again. I'll have to set my quill stop for each hole. Means I'm going to hand tap them. I'm not even going to bother uh, starting it here because I'll just use my <coughs> um, tap start block. So now the other two would have to go on the other side for a mirror. They have to come from the other side. And so it's this is 407. And subtract uh, 407, subtract one. Let me get a pencil. Usually I could do it in my head, but. 141, there we go, 6, 6, so I want to move over 366. Well, actually, do I want to do that, or do I want to just, yeah, I'm going to go with that. It's 366. So, 366. And then we'll do the same thing. You know, like I say, uh, these go on this side, and then these will go on that side of the of the engine. So, oh boy, that's not right. I gotta stop and think about it. Um, Forty-one. So if I drill these and then drill these the other way, yeah, I stay at. I just changed the x axis, not the y. So change this back to one forty-one. And I'm just going to go ahead and drill the second hole on these. What I'll do is I'll drill the second hole on these, which will go here somewhere. And these, I got to calculate back from this edge, so it'll be there and there. So that when these go on the, on the motor, they'll go this way so this will be on this side and then these would 
be this way. That's right. Just thinking it through. So anyway, I'm going to drill those holes and I'll get all the holes drilled and then I will come back and I'll come back when I get all the holes drilled. And it's basically all that's all it's going to be doing is just drilling holes and then flipping it on the side and drilling those holes. And then after that, when I get to the lathe, I'll come back.